If not for a locked door, police say a Granger family could have been held hostage in their own home. Police say 31-year-old James Eric Turns tried to get into several homes before he shot himself in a backyard. Now, investigators say he was the man wanted in denials, Walmart, arson, and theft. WSBT's Kelly Stapsinski has been working this story since it broke last night. And Kelly, you found out Turns confessed to that Walmart crime. Rick, but shortly after telling police he did it, he took off, sending nearby neighborhoods into a panic and changing one family forever. Berrien County police say tips from this surveillance video led detectives to this house in Granger's Saddlebrook subdivision. It's where police say James Turns lived with his dad. Police say Turns admitted he set a fire at the Niles Walmart as a diversion so he could steal electronics. But after the confession, he ran away. Today, Turns' dad told me he had no comment about what happened, but people in nearby neighborhoods are shaken up. And we seen some guy take off running in the back through our backyard, and then we seen a whole bunch of cops and dogs. Police chase Turns into the Bridalwood subdivision near Elm and State Road 23. He tried to get inside several homes, and neighbors say he tried to steal a car. And when a man tried to stop him, Turns put a gun in his face, then took off again. Families watched it unfold in real time online. WSBT, a whole bunch of different places were saying that there was a chase in Granger, and I saw it was in, ended in Bridalwood, and I started calling my neighbor friends. Police say Turns shot himself in the head behind this house after trying to get in the back door. We heard, like, yelling, and somebody yelled no, and then we heard a gunshot. So then everybody came in my room and we just looked out the window. A family of five lives here and a 10 year old boy and his dad saw turns dead on their patio. I was really concerning. I mean, I find that this neighborhood is really safe. So when I heard that it was happening here, you just think things like this can happen anywhere. And that family who was home when all this unfolded in their backyard told me their message for everyone is not to take your safety for granted. Make sure your doors are locked all the time and do everything you can to keep yourself and your family safe. I mean, Rick, it saved them. Yeah, and Kelly, you've been checking into James Turns, and what have you found out? You know, so far, not too much. He has no criminal record I could find. He's never been booked into the St. Joseph, Elkhart, or Berrien County jails. And police also don't know why he would have done any of this, what his motive was. Investigators, though, are sure he's their Niles Walmart suspect because aside from the confession, investigators say they recovered some of the stolen property last night, making them 100% sure he's their guy. And a scary night in Granger for yes. sure. Kelly, thanks so much.